tell me where we are. So this is the McCoy Flats Trailhead. After our long hike yesterday, we were looking for a place to camp, and we found this place on iOverlander, and it was really easy to find. So we came and slept, and then when we woke up, we realized it was good for mountain biking. So we decided to check out these trails. Uh, you can see my nice helmet mark there. I think I might have worn it a little too tight today. We did two quick loops. Um, one was the got what was it? Got milk. Got milk and cookies, which was like a five mile loop, but I think it was longer. And then the other one was a uh, retail sale. So we did a total of like 14.2 miles. Um, not super technical. A couple big drops that I had to get off and walk, but. Overall, it was fun. It was a good ride. I'm glad. Good stuff. Any other thoughts you'd like to add? I was interviewing you. Okay. <laughs> no. We finally found a hot spring that isn't closed. Um, it is this giant pool uh, right next to this huge lake surrounded by mountains and pretty much in the city. So we're right outside of Salt Lake City. Um, pool's pretty hot, probably 104. We forgot our brand new thermometer. so. Who knows? We'll try next time. But it was a good soak. Hey guys, so we're hanging out at camp just outside of Alpine, Wyoming. Um, we're on the Palisades Reservoir and just across from us, across the water, is Melvin Brewing. So instead of taking the motorcycle off the, the rack and then driving it all the way around the reservoir and back, we are going to take the direct shot on our Cocopelli pack rafts across the water. Um, we just blew them up. So they're all inflated and ready to go. It's pretty easy. They come with this little bag that you just squeeze air into and it's pretty quick.
Um, this is our campsite. We've been here for the last couple days enjoying some peace and quiet aside from the rock factory across the way. Um, there's mosquitoes and we've seen a lot of cool wildlife. Um, a lot of birds though. Pelicans, osprey, bald eagles, blue herons. It's a nice spot. Um, so yeah, we're going to get ready to paddle and wish us luck. We just left the brewery and walked back down to the beach. A uh, bunch of the driftwood blew into our takeoff spot and everything's blown away. So this might be a kind of crummy uh, paddle back because we've got a headwind directly to us. Uh, I don't even know if you can hear me, but it's back there somewhere. So it took us a half hour to get here. See how long this takes. All right, so we made it back. We don't have any footage of the return trip because uh, it got really windy and the lake got a little wild. And then we got soaked in a rainstorm. Uh, but we made it. And now we're going to break this down and clean up our mess. So luckily we had the camera in an OtterBox dry box and all our other stuff was in a dry bag. So we think, a dry bag. We, yeah, we think it's a dry bag, but it might just have a waterproof finish on it. So we'll see if stuff stay dry in there, but nothing too important in there. Uh, we did come back with some, with some beer and some more beer. Um, and then, yeah. Looks like everything stayed dry in there. So that was good. Uh, but yeah, it's beautiful out again. So we probably should have just waited an extra 10 minutes because the lake is flat now and it was literally just pouring up into my boat. So, live and learn. Packraft mission was a success until we tried to make it back. So we're going to dry off now. All right, so we are here in Soda Springs, Idaho, and came to a place called Hooper Springs. Um, it is a natural cold spring that used to be bottled. It won the Chicago World's Fair in 1893, and I believe it was the Paris World's Fair in 1905. I'll double check the sign. That's true. I did it right. So I'll stop running around. You want to tell them why it's special? Uh, no. Why don't you tell them why it's special? It's carbonated. Oh, it's naturally carbonated. So they say it's the world's only sparkling water spring. So yeah, we're gonna drink it. The sign says that it. Some people don't like the taste, but it is palatable. It's very hard water. <laughs> so we're gonna come down in here and give it a whirl. Let's see how it is. So it just bubbles up There's like crazy. Like goo in the water. There's definitely goo in the water, so you want to avoid that. But I think it'll be good. It does say no swimming. Um, this water is for drinking, no swimming allowed. This is pretty. Um, it has an odd taste to it. This hmm. people online are saying to like mix it with Kool Aid or lemonade to take away the iron flavor. I don't really taste iron. It's... Did you read that it was actually carbonated? Yeah, it is carbonated. I mean, it tasted like it. It just tastes like an off fancy water. Yeah. You know, like one of these new age fancy waters that aren't as fancy. Like a seltzer water that has too much minerals in it. <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, well, we're going to drink some more of it. Might as well. You don't like it, huh? I get why people are saying to mix like Kool-Aid with it. 
It has a really strong flavor. Yeah. So also in this town, um, there is the world's only captive. Is that what they use? Yeah. Captive geyser. So they drilled um, and hit a geyser. Well, they, they hit. They were drilling for a swimming pool. There you go. She read it all. I was just driving. Uh, but yeah, drilling for a swimming pool, hit, I would assume, hot water. That's coming with pressure, but maybe not hot. And uh, capped it. And now they set it off every hour. So we're going to go check that out next because uh, it seems like it's going to be a pretty sweet attraction. Yeah. We are at our next stop in this cool little town, Geyser Park, where they have the only captive geyser in the world. And it erupts every hour on the hour. So we have, I think, 15 more minutes before it uh, goes off, but we're going to see how this thing is. T-minus eight minutes to uh, spring geyser explosion. And it's <laughs> not getting crowded here yet. Uh, I don't know where everybody's at, because this is gonna be pretty cool, but nobody's here. All right, they're late. Here comes the train, maybe that signals the start of it. Birds are coming. Well, we're going big. All right, so that just got over with. And there were warning signs in the parking lot about overspray minerals getting all over your vehicle, possibly. And it looks like the wind was going directly at the van. Yep, it's soaked. So let's see. Uh, let's see how that's doing. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I just call it a flight free car wash. We made it to Shoshone Falls finally. And we caved and spent the $5 to get the good view, which is not very normal for us. There's at least $2 here for us, if not more. We can go get some out there. Is it worth it? I probably wouldn't go right here. <laughs> Unless I had a rope and an anchor. 